Finally, some really good news from the ATF. I'm sure by now most of you have heard that the ATF was uh, considering banning the M855 SS-109 ammunition. Well, a couple hours ago, I came across the ATF bulletin from their site. Uh, it basically says it's a notice to those commenting on armor piercing ammunition exempting fr exemption framework. And I will read you the, uh, the um, release from the ATF. Thank you for your interest in the ATF's proposed framework for determining whether certain projectiles are primarily intended for sporting purposes within the meaning of 18 U.S.C. 921A 17C. The informal comment period will close Monday, March 16th. ATF has already received more than 80,000 comments, which will be made publicly available as soon as, as practical. Although the ATF endeavored to create a proposal that reflected a good faith interpretation of the law and balanced interests of law enforcement, industry, and sportsmen, the vast majority of the comments received to date were critical of the framework and include issues that deserve further study. According to the ATF, we will not at this time seek to issue a, fin a final framework. After the close of the comment period, ATF will process the comments received and further evaluate the issues raised there within. We provide additional comments, provide additional open and transparent process, for example, through, the additional, through additional proposals, and opportunities for comment before proceeding any framework. So the ATF basically said that uh, they received so many comments from you guys out there that they decided not to ban it. So I'd say we all did a pretty good job. Um, it's definitely time to sit back and pat ourselves on the back for good work, but uh, remember to be vigilant. Um, things like this don't just go away. You know, they have a, they have a tendency to come back at a later date. Um, Definitely want to give a big shout out to Rep. Jim Sensenbrenner from Wisconsin, who introduced the legislation to eliminate the ATF. I think that finally uh, woke them up a bit. I think when you have a uh, congressman introducing legislation to do away with your uh, department of the government, uh, you probably want to rethink things. Um, so a big shout out to everybody that made comments. Um, I made this pretty popular on the Facebook pages I manage. Um, big shout out to everybody out there who supported us and a big shout out to uh, Jim Sensenbrenner for uh, publicizing this to the point of coming up with legislation. Um, thanks for watching. Let's hope we get some more good news from the ATF and let's hope they leave our M855 alone.